Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. Well, we got an interesting article that um, I received uh, yesterday. I can't say I saw this coming, but uh, from CNN Business, Walmart is transforming 160 of its parking lots into drive-in theaters. Now, I got to tell you, drive-in theaters are just cool. I love drive-in theaters. You just go, you you know, you pack the car up and bring snacks and drinks and you go to the uh, drive-in theater and you just chill, you know. <clears throat> and I especially love it when they do those double features. So you, you go and watch the first movie, say, for the second, or you come in and watch the second movie and then they replay the first one right after that. Um, I remember seeing a lot of movies uh, just by going to the double features. Uh, and I, back when I was growing up, it had the uh, speakers that you put on the window, <laughs> you hang on the window. It sounded, it sounded like complete garbage. Um, but then again, if you, you know, the movies that you went to go see, they're not movies that you, you know, it wasn't like Star Wars, you know, like you'd want to hear like in stereo and everything. Now they were just kind of, you know, you sit on the side and you just watch the movie just to, you know, watch the movie. But nowadays they have it where you tune in on the radio um, and can get the sound that way. Or I think now it's like Bluetooth or <coughs> or something. I don't know. But anyways, so it looks like they are going to be changing them. So let's just see uh, what this is about here. So two of the most classic pieces of, of Americana are coming together this summer, drive-in theaters and Walmart. Beginning in August, the retailer is converting 160 of its U.S. store parking lots into drive-in movie theaters. As the pandemic continues, drive-in theaters have been making a comeback as a safe alternative to the traditional movie theaters that remain closed in much of the country. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. They wanted to bring back drive-in theaters, so that's the reason for this whole thing. I'm kidding. But who would have thought? Because I know the drive-in theaters were getting less and less popular, and then something like this happens, and all of a sudden, drive-in theaters, drive-in movie theaters are coming back. Isn't that weird? Uh, just how something like that happens? Anyway, Walmart is partnering with Tribeca Enterprises, the Robert De Niro-backed media company, to program the films. Locations and movie titles haven't yet been announced, but they will be revealed later on a special website. Now, all of these have links, so uh, I have a, a link. I always put a link to the article in the description setting, uh, section, so that way you can check it out for yourself. You can come here and click on all these links if you want to. Um, <clears throat> I do that so that way you know where I'm getting this information from. The event will uh, will run through October and encompass more than 300 showings. Okay, so it doesn't look like this is a permanent thing. Although that would be awesome if they did. Anyway, this family-friendly night will include hit movies, special appearances from filmmakers and celebrities, and concessions delivered right to customer vehicles. Walmart will use the nearby physical stores to let people use curbside pickup for treats and food. Imagine that. Um, nowadays, with the delivery services like DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, um, you go to a drive-in uh, theater type of thing like Walmart, and um, you know someone comes and and brings you food from, you know, DoorDash or whatever. It just <laughs> it just seems what a different world what a different world this is compared to the one that i grew up in drive-in movie venues have been popping up all over the country with small business owners forced temporarily to shut down their traditional theater operations opting to reopen old drive-in locations or build makeshift theaters and parking lots in a bid to make up for lost income so that's it that is the story that we got here about Walmart and drive-in theaters, I think this is actually a very uh, fascinating uh, story. What do you guys think? What do you think about this? Um, have you been to drive-in movies uh, before? Has it been a long time? Do you miss them? 
Um, I just, I thought it was great. It's a, I thought it was a great way. It feels it's more chill than going into an actual theater because you're in your car, you're laid back. You can bring whatever snacks or whatever you want with you. I just, I don't know, drive-in, drive-in movies. I have, I haven't been to one in a long time, and uh, we've been talking about going to one um, for the past month or so. We just haven't gotten around to doing it, but uh, yeah, so this is going to be interesting. But let me know what you think about this, um, and if you enjoyed this article. In this episode, please consider leaving a thumbs up, a like, I'd appreciate that. It helps out the channel. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that way you get notified of future rambling content because I do a variety of stuff throughout the week. And then social media, that's a thing. All that information is down below. Um, for Instagram, I take pictures of projects and stuff that I'm working on. Twitter I use for official news and announcements, Snapchat for silly fun, Twitch for all of the live streaming entertainment that I do, and Patreon for those of you who would like to donate and uh, help me out and help the channel out as far as being able to make it grow. Can't do it alone, so I'm grateful for anything that you're willing to give. And in return, you get some bonuses and rewards as a result. So please, go to my Patreon, go check it out. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next rambling episode. Have a killer, awesome day.